It's part two of our conversation with famous Yes singer John Anderson. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. 1,000 Hands Chapter 1 is his latest album. There'll be links in the description of this video where you can pick it up. This is part two of our conversation with John Anderson. What was the atmosphere like with you and the band members uh, during the ser- What was that like? Was that okay? At the Hall, At the hall of Fame, yeah. The hall of Fame. fame. No, we, we kept to ourselves. Everybody, nobody came over to say hi from uh, the other band, except later on somebody was a little bit tipsy, came over and started talking to me, and I didn't know who it was. <laughs> but I was just being friendly with this guy, and he started telling me, we should make some music together. You know, I said, yeah, okay. It was in the hotel. And wow. Steve, Steve was dodging me all the time. <laughs> Hi, Steve. How you doing? Steve. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. See a minute. <laughs> that's got to be, that's got to be a little awkward. Well, you know, me and Steve have gone through uh, a lot of, um, I suppose, frustration to a certain degree. Craig Gilman asked, would you consider ever singing with John Davison on stage? Yeah. Why not? He was the guy that I didn't know. I didn't recognize. Was John Davison the now singer now? Yeah. At the, at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, I didn't recognize him because I didn't know him that well, you know. And uh, yeah, I'd, yeah, of course I would. I'd sing with the band, you know. I had this dream that I had a guitar and I was going to open the show by singing a couple of songs and saying hi, everybody. And now Steve Howe and his band, yeah. And I'd sit there by and sing along with some harmonies or whatever, and then come off stage and then Trevor and Rick, are you ready? Yeah, come on, let's go on and do da, da, da. And then we all did Close to the Edge and Awaken. And the crowd went bananas. And then I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> Zandra asks you, are you familiar with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure and uh, using Yes Music? The animated? Oh, the Japanese. Japanese, yeah. yeah? Japanese, yes. yeah. I've been told about it just this last couple of months when people are doing interviews that Roundabout gets played a lot on this uh, Japanese cartoon. I said, great, those kids, man, they're going to love Yes. Imagine they'll learn about Yes when they're eight, nine years old and then say, hey, check out this. Close to the edge. Check it out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's the idea. You know, it's like drawing people into the world of yes, if you like. You know. Ramo Lama, for instance, like that song. When I heard that, yeah. I'm, that's just striking to me. That just woke me up. Tell me about that, that tune. That was the idea. It wasn't the first big song. It was always in the middle of the mixing, you know, when we were doing it. I said, the beginning was going to be Activate Me. And I thought, no, it's too slow. And I thought, put Ramalama and get it in. And then firstborn leaders, let's get on with the show, you know. And uh, that, that Ramalama comes from a, what I do almost every day is, uh, is chanting. It's, I know it sounds crazy, but when I get up, me and my wife, we have breakfast in bed, watch the news. I wash up, and get in my studio and start doing da da do da da do did it because it's an exercise to sort of get voice going and stuff and I've got lots of these chants everywhere and I sent in two of the chanting called vocalizationing it's a new word <laughs> Jacob Collier does this so well vocal vocalizationing and uh it's so funny because he, he said, I really like these. I'm going to China tomorrow. I'm going to take them with me and just see what it happens, you know. And he actually did all the music, most of the music, on his laptop from Orlando to China. That's amazing. He, he got, to, he got to, uh, to, to China and he sent me a mix of what he'd done. I went, oh, my God, that's perfect. Well done, Michael. And uh, he said, anything missing? I said, yeah, when the chorus comes in of Rama Lama, can you put a banjo on it? <laughs> it just needed a picking, didn't it? Something yeah. like that, yeah. Yeah. And he did that. 
Mm-hmm. It's so hypnotic. That album. song's hypnotic to me. There's a lot of songs on this album that are like that. They have a hypnotic, like they draw, you know, that old cliche of staring at the speakers when you hear something. This album did that. Yeah. I, I just loved it. And it, it hasn't grown old, even though it was finished a couple of years ago. I still listen to it and go, oh, I can hear this. Oh. You hear stuff. Yeah. When I was touring with 1,000 Hands Band last year, we just had a ball doing that song. You know, we'd actually, the great thing about working with musicians that are interested in listening and working on ideas, which is very much like what Yes was all about, uh, I, I pop up with ideas constantly. And uh, this group, we had a violin player, she was. She's from uh, Taiwan, a keyboard player from uh, Thai, uh, Philippines who plays trombone, amazing. And so I could, I could put together the trombone player with the sax player and we just added other sounds and you know, a, ba- a brass section, you know. So the violin player with strings and got an orchestra over this side of the stage and, and we were doing great. Yes, classics. You know, we started off with uh, "On of a Lonely Heart," "Yours Not Is Grace," "Rama Lama." Yeah. <laughs> get on stage for fifty. It's right in. Get in there. Yeah, yeah. Links on how you can pick up One Thousand Hands Chapter One in the description of this video. Also in the description, where you can pick up one of our T-shirts. We'd appreciate that if you support our channel, and they're nice T-shirts. We have t-shirts for this channel, Rock History Music, Rock History Book, and Rock History Canada as well. All professionally done. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music.